All right. Welcome to the official first episode of This Is How You Website. I am your host, Chris Pearson, at Pearsonified on every reputable social media platform. And what I want to talk about today is I want to show you the tool I use to test website performance and optimization, page speed, that sort of stuff. And I'm going to show you a couple examples of sites, uh, one that does everything right and another one that uh, passes for okay in the WordPress ecosystem these days. And I want to show you just how insane things have gotten in that arena and how how awful the performance is of stuff that we now consider to be okay. So let's dive in and take a look. Uh, what we're looking at right now is my website, DIYthemes.com. It is running Focus, the ultimate WordPress theme, and it is super, super fast. Uh, if we do a web page test, webpagetest.org, this is my preferred tool for performance and optimization testing. Uh, we've got some grades up here at the top, and you know, AAABD and then a check mark. That stuff doesn't really matter. If you're relying on these, that, that's what a phony does. A real boss looks right down here at performance results. This is what matters. Uh, the first number I like to look at is a first interactive beta. That means when, so when a website loads, the first interactive beta happens when uh, the, the, the content on the screen has loaded and enough scripts have loaded that anything that you click on uh, on the page is going to work. Um, if you try to do stuff before the full interactive beta has loaded, that may mean that all JavaScripts and stuff have not loaded, so certain stuff, like certain things you might click on that are JavaScript activated may not work. So you want to have a real short first interactive beta. This one is under one second. That's pretty darn good. Uh, the next thing I look at is the time for the website to be fully loaded, and I also like to see what the delta is between the document complete and fully loaded. A really good, a really optimized page is going to have a small delta, and a page where you've had to work your butt off to achieve decent performance uh, and optimization, compression, all these sorts of things, is going to have a much bigger delta between the document complete and the fully loaded times. So it just means more, more junk is going on. That's a, if, if the delta's high, it's an indication there's junk happening, and that may not be good. Next, I look at the total number of requests. DIY Themes only has eight requests. Good, It's an e-commerce website. DIY Themes is an e-commerce WordPress website. Good luck finding a regular WordPress website with eight requests or fewer, let alone an e-commerce website with these types of numbers. I promise you, you cannot find another example of this on the entire internet. You can go browse a trillion pages. You won't see this. Uh, finally, I like to look at the total bytes in. That means how, how, how much stuff had to be loaded to render this web page. 196 kilobytes is comically small in 2019. Comically small. And the cost here, that kind of gives you, a, this is, a, it's not like a true dollar cost, but it's like a, what is the cost in resources needed to render this web page? And in this case, it's uh, DIY Themes has the lowest possible cost rating of $1 sign. Now, let's look at a different site. We're going to look at one. Uh, and so DIY Themes, if you'll recall, is built on Focus. Uh, that is why it's so fast and so good. We can look at the HTML source real quick. We can see, here's the whole thing. It's really small, really organized, really patternized. This looks good, okay? That's a good HTML source, all right? Now we're going to look at a different website. And this one is built on... Uh, I think Divi or Avada or uh, one of these big omnibus WordPress themes that, that's popular right now. And the woman who built this site was very proud of it. And she, she said, well, I, ma I made, managed to make this really optimized, even though I'm using this platform that you say is terrible. And I maintain that it is terrible. First of all, I think this kind of looks bad, but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is the performance of this site. And so if we run it through web page test, and again, this lady said that for, for whatever theme she's running, that this is actually really fast. Uh, it gets good grades, gets all A's, wow. But like I told you, A's don't matter, those grades don't matter. Here's what matters. First interactive beta, 4.385 seconds. When you load this site, you gotta sit there for four and a half seconds almost before you can do anything uh, that's gonna work. 
okay? On top of that, when this page is actually loading, I don't know if we saw this and I didn't, I didn't bring your attention to it, but when it's loading, it kind of loads in these clunky parts, like part of the page will load and image will load here, stuff shifting around. It's an unpleasant user experience, you know, to, to, during the loading process. That's no good. So that 4.385, that's brutal. That's so slow. The document complete time, 5.392 is a long time to wait. And fully loaded, 8.152. Again, that's almost a three second delta between those two things. So that is evidence that there has been a lot of post facto optimization to try and get this thing to not be completely intolerable. Okay. And if we look further, we see that there's 68 requests to load this page. This freaking page. Like, oh my goodness. High information density on this page in a horizontal landscape. It's very hard for people to parse this in a meaningful way. This is not how people scan websites. The eye stays to the left side of the page and darts out to the right. This invites you to like really look closely at everything. And that's just not, not people don't end up doing that. They end up just scrolling. This looks like too much information density. They keep going and then they end up leaving. That's the pattern. And if your site is slow and it's presented poorly, you're really going to be in bad shape. Let's keep going. We see the bytes in. 4,042 kilobytes. For DIY themes, this number was 196 kilobytes. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This, this page is over 20 times bigger. Not only that, that's four megabytes to render this dang page. Four megabytes. No wonder it takes so long. And look at the cost. Five dollar signs. This is the most expensive, fattest, most bloated rating you can get on web page tests. So even though there's a bunch of A's up here, don't let your eyes won't fool you. This thing loads in a clunky manner and isn't pleasant. And certainly when you look at these numbers, it just destroys any notion that these are good grades. These aren't good grades. This is pathetic. This is absolutely pathetic. So this lady thought she was doing a good job with performance. I say fail, and not only fail, like massive fail. You got pages that take more than three or four seconds to load, try again. Start over, try again. It's just not worth it. That is a terrible result. Let's look at the HTML source. It gets even better. This thing takes forever for the source to load. All right, here it is. This is a bunch of compressed CSS at the top. Look how, and this, this HTML source has been minified. It's Avada is this theme. God, this is an awful theme. So many people buy Avada right now, and I just, I just, I, I truly feel sorry for anyone who buys it because you're going to run a super slow website that's going to be impossible to maintain, all with the promise of being able to build something like this that is ugly and information dense, impossible to parse, has terrible spacing, inconsistent spacing. It's just awful. But this is what you get. You get what you pay for. This is what you get. Uh, look at this. this is, these are compressed CSS styles. Oh my god, it goes on forever. Oh my god, we're still going. Oh, what? What? We're still here. Look at this. I'm still scrolling through CSS. We haven't even gotten to the HTML. My god. I, I, this is a different universe than the website universe I live in, just so y'all know. Oh, we're still going. This is still CSS. Clown show does not even begin to describe what I'm seeing here. This site is cached and minified, like doing all these performance things, and it still takes over five seconds to load and over eight seconds to complete the page. God almighty, we're still going, fam. We are still here. It's, we're over 70% scrolled, and all we see is, is CSS. We have finally gotten to the HTML head. My God, after a century of scrolling, here we are. We got a bunch of scripts and crap. We got everything minimized here, minified. Here's the HTML. I don't know what this is. God, what a mess. None of these things are necessary for any of this. Oh, Lord. We're still going. Look at this. What, what is this? Some plug-in with a bunch of crap. Oh, look at this. And then we get to the end of the document. Thank God. All the JavaScripts have been stuck together into one script and stuck down here at the bottom because they're using Autoptimize, a plugin for WordPress. Whoo! Now you see the actual difference. That's the only reason I wanted to show this to you. So you can see this is what you get if you use Focus, something that's very small, organized. You can actually manage this. You think you can manage this? Do you really think you can manage this? 
Does this look like it's easy to maintain or build in the first place or do anything with? The proof is in the pudding. Disregard these numbers or these letters. They don't mean squat. This is everything. When you see this kind of stuff, red flag city, run for the hills. If this is your website, your website sucks. It's just the truth. It's just the way it is. These are the numbers you want. You want tiny numbers. You want pages that load fast. You want beautiful text. You want great spacing. You want a simple top-down design. That's what works on the internet in 2019. This works everywhere, phones, tablets, whatever. This is the answer. Now you can use these tools on your own. Use webpagetest.org to test websites and see. See and feel the difference when you, when you actually have focus. This is what it's all about. Don't be fooled by these people who say, oh, I, I optimized the site. I made it fast. This isn't fast. This is a turd. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. Don't be fooled by that stuff. Use these tools on your own to make the decisions that are going to work for you and your website. And quite frankly, guys, just use focus. This is how you get the best answers. And those are the only answers I care about. See you next time.